So we've been doing uh, RDC-like checks for quite a while, but a lot of what we did in the past was a little more straight structural checks uh, or design rule type checks, and we evolved into wanting a, um, more of a R, to treat our RDC tools and flows like we do CDC. So, um, and I, th this is sort of just the explanation of you know if if you're not already familiar with it, kind of why async resets are are dangerous. Um, and they've become a lot more dangerous because I think IP reuse, so just in a nutshell, kind of why this is a dangerous thing is that, you know, if, if it was a power on reset, you don't worry so much about the assert edge. In fact, you're kind of coming up with it asserted. In, in a chip with hundreds of these little domains, the assert edge of reset is actually really dangerous, right? It, it, you assert it, all those flops are pushed into their state, but all, there's just a crazy explosion. Compared to CDC, there's a crazy explosion of asynchronous edges that are just everywhere in your design. Every flop is sending out these async edges. If they hit any downstream flop that's not already being, also being reset or clocked, or, and it's being clocked, you get more async edges. And, and ultimately, the danger is leaking out of your block that you intended to reset, right? So that's, that's kind of the, the, the problem statement, and then how do we and the picture is kind of showing two blocks that are, uh, you know, and, and how resets could leak from one to the other if you're only resetting one at a time. So, so, you know, there's many ways to try to stop this, but as much, no matter how much that we do with that, we still need, you know, like they say, trust, or, you know, but verify. Like we try to make a, a dependable, trustworthy, um, correct by construction design, but then verify it, and so it, that's why we use uh, RDC flows. And Meridian RDC, is we, it's sort of grown for us where we're using it much more now, in many cases everywhere that we run CDC. Um, it's different because you know it, it's within a clock domain, so even something that you might not run CDC on, you could still want to run RDC on if you have multiple uh, reset domains. So these are the kind of bugs that we've actually, you know, a lot of these things we might find later. There's also a left shift thing going on here. We have downstream checkers where we might find these, but finding it early in RTL is, is better. Finding these sort of uh, leaking uh, async paths and or coming out of blocks, or, or you can have race conditions between resets, what they're resetting. Um, and then late, late in a design cycle, you know, e ECOs and everything, finding Finding it early becomes quite valuable so we don't have to either miss it or, or not find it until the back end.